Time to get to work on the arm. Let's click in the setup tab here. We'll hide these blocks. And middle mouse click to highlight back to. Use the plus key on the keypad to add another bone. Rotate it out on heading so it faces over to the right. We'll adjust the length of this bone so that the tip of it is right in the middle of where the arm will rotate. Let's go to the top view. Let's make sure we're right in the middle of the shoulder. Switch to the left view here. We will bank this bone ever so slightly so that Y faces straight out to the left. Let's call this bone clavicle R for right. Switch back to a front view here. Let's add another bone. We'll rotate it down on heading. And we'll adjust its length so it aims right at the base of back two. Switch to a left view and pitch it forward. Name this one back muscle R. Let's go back to a front view here. We'll middle mouse click and select clavicle R. Use the plus key on the keypad to add a bone. We'll adjust its length. Move its heading down and make it so it's right in the middle of the elbow. Switch to a top view. We'll pitch this one back. And then under the skeleton block, there's a function called split bone. So while this one is highlighted, we'll press that and it'll split the bone in half. We'll do it once more while that's selected so we have three bones here. Switch to a front view and we'll just adjust the length of this first bone and we'll rearrange the lengths of these so that the tip is still in the middle of the elbow on the last one. Let's name this first bone bicep 1R. Bicep 2R for the second one. Bicep 3R for the third one. Use the plus key on the keypad. We'll add another bone to that. Rotate this up on heading. And we're going to adjust the length of this bone so the tip of this is right where the wrist will rotate. Switch to a top view. Pitch this one forward. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to go into the skeleton block. Click on split bone. While this one is highlighted still, split it once more. Do the same thing. Adjust the length of these first two bones until the tip of the third bone is back in the rotation. We can name this first one here forearm 1R. One name the second one forearm 2R. The third one forearm 3R. Add one more bone to the end of that one. We're going to make this one smaller. We're going to set its slip in the bone block here to 1 so it doesn't influence any mesh. Name this one wrist attach R. Now let's add a null. We'll add a IK control. So under the null here, type in IK handwrite and make sure that man is before that. Click on the plus button to add that. You'll see it added to the list on what we had selected last. Highlight it and just drag it out of the list. Drag it to the bottom. And we'll position that. Zoom out here. And move this right on top of the wrist here. Switch to a top view. Make sure it's right on top of the wrist. I'm going to rotate this out on heading. And under the left view here, we will bank this null so Y faces out to the side. Let's save our work. Go to the File tab. File. Save Messiah Scene As. We're going to save this one as bodyd.fxs.